chat. My mic wasn't working for a second there. I'm not sure why. Hello, gamers. I'm, uh... I am excited. Because we... Got... Motherfucking backup. Which is super hype. I'm, uh, of course, a bit, a tad bit bummed that we didn't get just straight up accepted, but I don't care too much. I'm just happy that we got accepted in some sense and can actually do the run. <laughs> um, we're gonna actually take a look at everything that was accepted and put on backup real fast just to, to open up instead of doing practice immediately because practice well now um but what's up flying waffle what's up Haxum? what's up talia hello everyone thank you for stopping in let me add this so there are a number of things that got accepted i think there are a total of five runs that got accepted just flat out accepted so let's look of course i've already seen all of these um first is animal well which i am not at all surprised by i feel like this was kind of a shoe in um game came out got super popular um really neat like metroidvania i am kind of surprised by any percent specifically um because any percent is super short but if uh, there i know there is uh let's look at the games list actually that'd be probably better for this if it's accepted as a donation incentive Oh, okay. This is a donation incentive for after no flute warps. Never mind. This doesn't surprise me then. This is super expected, I think. Now, uh, no flute warps is a significantly better run in my opinion. Um, this is, uh, not as heavily glitched and features a lot more of the game's base movement which is what I think a lot of people liked about this game and then not at again not at all surprising this pick is particularly hard-hitting I'd think um, another crab's treasure is was already kind of a shoe in in my opinion um, super popular Soulsborne, you know, like that's almost guaranteed to get in. Um, I think this was bolstered by the fact that Moist Critical, like, just made a bounty for it. So it's getting super optimized right now. So, this, this doesn't surprise me at all. It being a race is a bit surprising. I'm a little bit surprised by this being a race. Um, I would have expected Spicy and then Aggie as backup, but a race is, is cool too, I think. You need at least one hype race during the finale, and I think this is a good pick. Um, we'll, we'll look at backups later, but next uh, is Rabbit and Steel 4 player, which is a very interesting run. This game is basically an MMORPG roguelike, which is really cool. Um, this is going to be an interesting watch for sure. 
Uh, I had, I know Sindark submitted this as one player, but four player, unfortunately, is just the better category. Um, and the four people that submitted this gonna do a good job, I think. And then the most surprising except to me, I think, is Tomb Raider. Because we already have Tomb Raider 2013 in the, the marathon. Uh, just from the first submission period by Spicy. And then, this game released right before the first submission window, I think. Or maybe it was during it, I can't remember. But, still qualify- or no, it, it had to be during it because, uh, second submission period, right? But, qualifies for second submission period, so it got, uh, submitted as well. And, uh, got accepted. I imagine this is one of those cases where it's like, we're gonna reject this, submit it during second submission period, it has pretty strong chances, something like that. But, considering we already had Tomb Raider 2013, this is a little bit of a surprise pick to me, but I think it, I think it's a good pick. I, I kind of expected this over 2013, personally, even if I like 2013 better. Uh, but both, both was not on my radar. <laughs> I, di I didn't think there would be both. This is only a Tomb Raider run, one any percent, though. Um, and then, Yellow Taxi Goes Room, which is the thing I'm most excited for from this. Yellow Taxi Goes Room is this fucking sick 3D platformer. And, um, I'm, uh, I'm really excited for this as a race, because I think this run will work really well as a race. Um, this game has fucking movement. It's a really cool collectathon with really like flashy visuals. I think I, this game is just gorgeous, um, and it being a race, I think makes it really cool because this game has really unconventional movement. Um, you know, given the whole being a taxi thing, you can't jump, and in order to like charge forward, you have to like wind up. And then do shit like this in order to move around. It's really cool. It, it, it's gonna be wild. This uh, this run's gonna be hype, I think. Um, and then we can look at the backup games. Uh, first is Doronko Wenko, which is a silly game. Very silly. You play as this little Pomeranian and you want to just wreck shit. <laughs> It's, uh, very funny. Um, this is in the same vein to me as Little Kitty Big City, which I saw a few people surprised that didn't get in. Um, I think this is a fair pick over that because it's a bit longer, uh, than what was submitted for Little Kitty Big City, from what I saw. But, um, yeah, this, uh, this run is fucking, it's really cute. It's very strange. I think this was, uh, one of the games released as part of a, um, what was it? It was either Namco Bandai or Capcom, I can't remember which one, I think it was Namco. Um, where they released a bunch of, like, student projects for people that they were, like, teaching or something like that. Um, this is one of them. And it's very cute. I was, I was kind of surprised to see this get submitted at all, but here we are. And then Kuro Asterisk, the, the, real, the real goat for running Sonic in the Secret Rings, which is a very good run, submitted Unicorn Overlord, which is this really strange tactical RPG that released recently. Um... Doesn't play like many other tack RPGs. But this also got pulled for backup and it's very interesting. I'm uh I'm low-key hopeful that this gets in because it's very strange. Its gameplay is not like many not like really any tack RPG. I've ever seen. Um, it's it's really 
cool. I'm very interested interested in this. And then of course, fucking pepper grinder. I know this guy. I know that guy. Um Yeah, pepper pepper grinder. I'm I'm super excited to get on backup at all. Um I have I have high hopes that it gets pulled, but we'll see. Um you know, never know. Who the fuck is this idiot? Okay, asshole. That's it. You're getting pulled from commentary. Thought about it. Kind of go with someone else. <laughs> um. But yeah, that's uh, that's everything that got picked from the second submission period. Um, and I'm I'm very excited, of course. Uh. I, uh, I really hope that they, they let me run, because that will, that will be very fulfilling. That will be very, very hype. Um, otherwise, I think we're just gonna get into runs. Or, uh, into practice, rather. Because I, I haven't played in a bit. So, I'm just gonna go through, like, a bunch of stages. And... Make sure that I am doing the right things. I'm playing well. Uh, I will say I am very sad that content warning did not get accepted. <laughs> As, uh, I was unironically more excited for that than I was Pepper Grinder. What? The, how did I drop my pot there? I do not know what happened there. Um, but yeah, I, I was more excited unironically for content warning than I was Pepper Grinder. If I'm being completely honest. Um... Just because I don't get to run with, or I don't really do multiplayer games all that often, so a like multiplayer thing would be very, very different for me. A, a change of pace would have been nice. But alas, getting it accepted, and that's okay. That's how it's gonna go, I guess. Not too, uh, strung up about it. Maybe there will be some wacky game that we submit next time as well. We'll see. Assuming we can all make it next time, which I, uh, I low-key kind of doubt, but that's okay. Um, they also s opened up the feedback form for submissions. I ended up asking for feedback on Stephanie. Uh, so if you submitted and haven't gotten feedback for something, you should, uh, go, go do that. You should do that. It's very, very helpful, actually, I think. Gives you a good idea of what to, uh, spend your time on. I don't really need that, but I, I will take it. Okay. Do back-to-back -back decent, uh, Giant's Kitchens. I'm okay with that. Also, uh, we had a hotfix appearance Friday. 
that was really fun. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, if you missed it, I think it'll be up on YouTube after uh, this week. Or uh, this weekend, rather. So, Monday, I think. Wait, today's Sunday. I can just say tomorrow. Forgot about that. Um, that's if I had to guess. You can also just go to their Twitch page and watch. But it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of in-jokes. Because it's a randomizer. What do you expect? But it was also a good time if you don't know anything about Chess at Radio Future, I think. That was dumb. Hey, Supersonic. Nice to see you. Thank you for the good luck. I appreciate it. It was good. I got my ass handed to me by, like, 15 minutes, but, I mean, I kind of expected that. Vayne was able to complete the whole game before I was able to finish Rando, but it's okay. The seed was fucked up. It accomplished its mission, which was to make sure we get close to estimate, but it was fucked up. Honestly, I liked the pinball afterwards a little bit more than I did Rando because it was a very interesting challenge. I was just a bit too slow, I think, or a bit too fast there, I think. Okay. But I mean... Even though I, I lost by quite a bit in the randomizer, I, it was a fun time, and that's all I really care about. I went into it expecting Vayne to beat me, so... No hope was- or, uh, nothing was lost. It was a good time either way. Aww. But that seed was fucked up. So what is a backup run? That's a that's a fair question. Backup runs are basically runs that GDQ will take in the case that someone drops a run, or if they get uh, far enough ahead of schedule, they will slot the runs in. Um, so it's basically like a just in case run that may or may not get shown. The uh. The thing that makes backup a little bit better, this uh, this event, is that they have a segment called the checkpoint, which they will make longer, or, or uh, they will increase or decrease the time with uh, runs in order to slot extra runs in. This happened a few times at last event. Um, I need to remember to not miss the animation skip. Uh, this happened a few times at last event, but... The checkpoint is a, like, safety net to not get a few, uh, like, hours behind. Because that was a problem at some old events, was getting so far behind that, like, finale is at 5 a.m., which is a huge problem. That, because finale is always this huge final push for donos if it's not at, at l if it's not at least at a decent time, then you're missing out on a ton of money, right? Not everyone can stay up until 5 a.m. to watch the finale. And so that's why they made it, is to make safety nets for going super far behind. Right, I need to uh, remember to pop here. So, uh, if they don't need that safety net, what they will do instead of just like having an hour of downtime is they will slot in a backup run. And this happened with uh, a few runs last event. I think it was, um, I think it was Aragami by Amerlin and then Whiplash by Jaxler. I, there might have been a third one, but I can't remember. Do you have actual, any actual submissions in? I mean, this, I, I got it in just as a backup. It's just a different type of being in. But no, I don't have any uh, accepted runs if that's what you're asking. 
What's happening? I'm gonna practice this actually without these guys in the way. But I mean, I'm not I'm not mad about it. Uh, I have gotten three runs in a row. I I don't need a fourth one. <laughs> of course, I will take the fourth one if they want to give it to me. But if not, then I'm not I'm not complaining. I've uh, I've been lucky enough to show off some of my favorite games of all time. Um, some of the games I put the most work into. So it's like it's not that big a deal to me. I've been extraordinarily lucky uh, in regards to, like, GDQ stuff. I've gotten to do a lot, so if they're taking someone over me, overtaking me, then I'm okay with that. I do have more games I want to show off because, you know, I like cool games and I like doing speedruns and I like, I like the GDQ space and I will go as long as I can f feasibly do so, but, you know, if uh, I'm not doing a run, then that's not a big deal. I have plenty of friends to hang out with, people to meet, runs to watch. <laughs> That's the nice thing, is that now I can kind of just sit back and actually... I don't want to do Magma Works again. Um, actually, like, watch runs. Which I'm, uh, I'm pretty chill with. Can relax a little bit instead of worrying about how my run's gonna go, you know? Especially with how many of my friends' runs got in. Like, I know a lot of people who got in uh, with their own runs, which is exciting. I can now at least more feasibly support more of them. Because I, I found myself a GDQ getting stretched real thin on the, in that regard. I missed a lot of runs that I really wanted to watch. Like, I literally missed like three-fourths of the JSRF run because I was out with friends. And the timing didn't work out. I thought we would have been back. We sure weren't. But like, you know. Now that I don't have to you know, fit in practice time as much, unless my run gets called, which I can just, you know, be rust at the event, so on and so forth, then that's cool. I mean, events will let anyone in. GDQ lets a ton of people that have never done anything like it in their events before it's just like you know you have to prepare yourself to be a good showman and if you don't think you have it in you that's fair marathon runs are definitely not for everyone i think um and it's a skill that you have to train over a while but if you're looking for someone where to start i mean smaller events are the best place to start that's where i got my start really It will, it will teach you a lot about what goes into making an enjoyable run. I don't think you have to, like, psych yourself out of doing it just because you think you, uh, wouldn't, like, fit. Give it a shot, and if it, you know, doesn't work, then that's it. You know? You li live, you learn. No pressure, right? At least that's how I think of it. I don't know. At the very least, when you're, you know, doing something for a smaller event, you're not doing it in front of thousands of people. Yeah. 
You know, I feel like I'm playing pretty all right today. I'm in the zone, you know. that health, but I don't think it'll be a big deal. But yeah. Speaking of events, uh, I'm curious if anyone has been watching Ludwig's event in here. Because I've been, uh, I've been watching a little bit of it, and oh boy. Oh boy. It's, uh, it sure is interesting. What's uh, been going on in that <laughs> event? I think they're like three hours behind their their uh, initial schedule now or something because of setup a time uh, accounts or uh, not setup accounts uh, setup uh, times. I read the word account <laughs> and then said the word account by accident. But um, setup times have been like crushing them apparently. Um, so now they're like three hours behind schedule or something, which is like, I saw that coming because yeah, like they're swapping from like PS1 games to PC games and I don't think they have multiple setups. I think they have the one setup <laughs> that they, uh, that they're using. At least it seems that way from uh, like, it seems like they have one console setup and then like two PC setups. Like based on their stage layout, I'm not sure. But um Okay. Thank you. Thank you, bud. Um It's been uh it's been real interesting. The the first run of that event that I saw was I think it was the the first run of the actual event um actually had this really funny donation tracker bug where you could like stack things on uh, on top of the layout by typing a lot or using the um if you if you know uh Zalgo which is that like font that like corrupts the uh letters you use and like stacks symbols on top of it if you ever see like really tall letters that's why um people were using like Zalgo fonts to, to like just overlay stuff on top of the game feed. It was really funny. It was a uh, it was very interesting that that's happening. <laughs> um, which I found funny. Uh, I think it's fixed now. I think they have efficiently added characters, character blockers to like prevent stuff like that, but. Oh boy. Also, they made a very interesting decision, in my eyes, to just have every donation be on screen. So, there have been some really funny donations that have come in. That are just on the screen, at the bottom. Which is, uh, I fear, I fear a problem. There's a reason that JDQ doesn't do that. <laughs> I don't think anything too bad has come from it. Oh my god. I practice that. But it's been uh it's been pretty funny. Pretty funny to see. What's up, talker? How's it going? Ah! Uh, yeah, hold on. I need to remember the lineup. Nope. Alright, I think that works. 
Oh yeah, there's a pop strat here. Let me uh, let me check real fast what that strat is. The Twitter account has popped up on my feed. Hey, that's a start. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. From what I've heard, it's like fine. I don't know. I haven't been super enjoying it, but I don't think it's an event for me. It's for people who are casually fans of speedrunning that don't want as heavy explanations. It's a very like casually oriented event as opposed to um as opposed to GDQ, which I think is a much more speedrunner oriented event or people who are fans of speedruns that want to see games that they like being broken and being like broken down through commentary right at least that's how it comes off to me which i'll admit i i stopped being a fan of events like that a long time ago they i've, I've seen speedruns before you know like I am so much more interested in the technical nature, the technical side of speedrunning, the how and why things work side of speedrunning, than I am the, uh, like, we're gonna just make jokes and play around side of speedrunning, you know? I've, I've watched a lot of speedrunning streams, I've seen that a million times, I know, I know how it goes. I don't need another one of that, but with different people, right? So I personally have not been the world's biggest fan, but I don't think it's for me, so that's okay. They've been uh they've been doing decently in terms of donations, though. Okay. I, uh, I I have seen the strats, and I think I know how to do it now. So you just keep low here. Um, they've been doing decently in terms of donations, though. So that's uh that's good for them. Exciting. Okay, that strat does not seem that hard. Um, I think they're at like 150,000 right now, last I saw, something like that, which is pretty good numbers. <laughs> um But it is very strange to me some of the games they've picked. Um I know I know Ludwig is part of like Moist Mo Moguls or whatever with uh Moist Critical Charlie, whatever. And or the I guess uninitiated. Um Moist Critical does these like speedrunning bounty challenges where he'll pick a game and just like sick a ton of speedrunners on it for ten thousand dollars. There's one going on right now with another crab's treasure. Um and he had last night, I think, um I think there were like all four of the bounty games that he's shown before or that he's chosen before were shown off by remote runners, which makes no sense to me. I get it, they're like partnered and they do things together and want to promote each other, but I don't know, none of those runs are exciting in my opinion. The only like good one I think is Exodus from the Earth, um, which is a like somewhat competent <laughs> um, FPS game? FPS title? Or, F not FPS game, but FPS speedrun. I think it's an okay speedrun. Um, but it's like, all of them were shown off at like 3am or something. And so I don't really... I don't know, I don't know, like... <laughs> I know you need stuff for the late night hours where not as many people are watching, but uh, I don't know if uh, I'm the world's biggest fan of just putting those runs in. 
Like, presumably, if you're partnered with someone and you want to show off those runs, you put them at a better hour. But it just seems like filler that they were like, Oh, this is so easy to plan. We just get runners who are at the top when the bounty ended. And I'm like, mm. Mm. Like, there's a reason that GDQ hasn't really had any of the bounty games. And it's because after the bounty, no one cares about them. And I think this is very much the same case here. I guess they had Red Guard, but that was a bit different because they accepted the game before the challenge actually happened. So... Okay, right. I need to, uh... I'm not making that. Okay. Um, GDQ had a uh, red guard, uh, the Elder Scrolls uh, red guard, which is this like really bad spin-off game. But um, like it was a Elder Scrolls anthology run that had an incentive for it. So it, I feel like it was a little bit different, a little bit. They didn't just raw accept Red Guard. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I feel like there's a lesson to be learned about this. That these like bounty games aren't don't have any actual real staying power most of the time. And I'm I'm so confused on why they like chose to just put them in the marathon. Like, I didn't see anyone, like, really excited about it, either. Like, just talking about it. Most of it has been, like... Okay. That's fair, I guess. <laughs> it's... But... Damn, I'm saving all my spicy takes. I... Or, uh, I'm, I'm saying all my spicy takes before I even get into runs. That's fucked up. I should be saving them so I get... Engagement <laughs> in the YouTube comments when I PP. <laughs> oh, that's that's Giga Brain. That's that's a, that's a growth strategy. But that's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go through the rest of the levels. I think, except for the bosses. I don't think I need to do any of the bosses. Actually, I'll probably skip uh, Breaker Pass, just because, like, that stage is kind of boring. Yeah. Well. I need to, like, keep parallel here. This jump sucks, I fear. Interesting. <laughs> okay, that, that feels better doing it all parallel. That, that's so fun actually. But um... I don't know. That event's not for me, and so I can't judge it too hard, but... The discourse is over, thankfully. <laughs> like, I haven't seen many people talking about it on Twitter, either, which is 
frankly nice because it was really annoying to have just everyone like constantly talking about it. It got very boring very quickly because it was just like two sides just screaming at each other, which was I guess Twitter in a nutshell, but you know. I expect a little bit better from the speedrunning community, generally. <laughs> probably won't. No, I probably will play this whole stage through, because I want to practice the ending jumps. I feel like the ending jumps will be uh nice to practice I do this jump again. Right, okay. I remember how to do it. I wonder if there's a faster way to do that. Hold on. Let me, uh, I'm gonna check the world record. Where is that? Oh, he pops off the giant. Why? Ugh. <laughs> I don't think that's faster. I, I, I'm gonna be honest. Maybe it is. Maybe I should ask about that. Because I feel like it isn't. But maybe it is. Anyways. For now, I'll just do this. I guess it could be, because you do have to backtrack some. Ooh. I just realized that this is, like, definitely slower. Doing this little, like, grapple jump. Because you have to walk so far to the, uh, like, snow. Okay, I'll have to remember that. I always love, like, getting that, like, sucker punch up. <laughs> if only there was a name for a move that was a sucker punch, but upwards. I don't know. They should, they should really make me a wrestler. I'd, uh, I'd revolutionize that sport. Can I... The only way that I think is easier to do this is, like...
That is so slow, actually. <laughs> I know the IL does unhinged shit and will, like, jump around there to do that. <laughs> but I don't think that is particularly easy. I guess I could go for it once, and if I miss it, it's not that big a time loss. Oh. <laughs> like, if I do that and then just, like, instantly adapt... Like, that's not that big of a time loss and has the potential to save, like, half a second. And it's probably easier, as well. Oh yeah, fun fact, if you pause, you drop your pop, which I think is really cool. Really cool and convenient that that happens and does that. Very nice. Yeah, I mean, that's faster, and seems easier. Woo! I knew you could hit that. Unfortunately, that ending was dog shit, but that's okay. I think we will do one Emperor Nero as the uh, like last level that I actually practice before the we we actually get into runs. But I don't know. I feel like I'm pr playing pretty all right today, you know. does seem kind of slower because you also spend so much time just walking. I'm not sure. I was not paying attention. I should not do that strat yet. I want to see if World Record does the strat that I do here. You pop up the start and then grab the cannons, okay. I don't know, I still kind of like my strat of just carrying the pop, it feels so much safer. That's a really funny thing to happen in World Record. They got the, the funny, like, launch glitch off of the robot. Alright. So, 
Uh, ads start in three minutes. Uh, I actually think I want to run them now. Since I want to just be doing deep right, you're not missing much. You're missing loud sounds, congrats. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and run ads. You can sub if you want to avoid them. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you in about three minutes. And for the people who don't get them, you can enjoy Deep Rot City and Loud Sounds. This is what you get by something. <laughs> I, I really do wish there was some way we could, like, balance the sounds a bit. Because I feel like this is such a, like, pillar in the run, you know? Just the fucking, like, miserably loud robot. That guy's- that guy's fucking- that guy's wave dashing. How can he attack like move- and move like that? What the hell? <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah. Um, I'll also be right back real fast. another deep rot just to make sure. That sure was, uh, sure was dumb. Interesting. Let's do uh, one Emperor and Arrow, and then we'll get into runs. Feeling, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling ready. I think I think we can PB today, because I feel like I'm playing pretty good right now. 
Of course, we'll see when we get to World 2 for the first time. <laughs> How, uh, Giant's Kitchen goes, but... If we can carry a lead into World 3, that's all we really need. Because World 3 is my bad world. Right now. Interesting. Oh, right. I'm on casual play. I forgot about that. clean first phases in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I feel like I should... I feel like I should go on that side uh, to pop instead of on the other side, but... I can, uh, I can try that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna do one more to just try that out. Oh, interesting. The music is, uh... Music is overlaid. <laughs> Is also pretty clean. I feel like first phase I've gotten down. Yeah, did I uh give me one sec. checking singular discord thing. hi kev how's it going oh my god it's kev360 why'd you fucking nerd emoji react me asshole Two, three, four, five. so mad six
Oh my god, I'm owned. Have you not been given the context yet? No, of course I haven't been given the context. I'm never given the context. I imagine this is some old meme, but no, I, I, I don't know. Okay, that was pretty good. I was nerd emoji reacting to you because it was processing, which means that it is currently uploaded. It is just being processed. Asshole. But I imagine that I got fucking nerd emoji, nerd emoji reacted right back because of some inside joke that I don't know about yet. All right. I feel solid. I feel... I feel good. Let's, uh, let's get this fucking PB. First try, frame one. Okay, slow there, but okay. I deserve that. I know not to go for that. Alas, I did. I'm feeling cocky. I used to record at 30k bitrate and have 60 gigabyte video files for my PB and I'd send the run in SRC and it would take like two days to process the run in bats and everyone would get mad at me. What the fuck is wrong with you? Genuinely. You don't need all those gigabyte, uh, gigabits. Uh, you, uh, get rid of some of them. Motherfuckers filming cinema out here. That's crazy. It took Quentin Reviews less time to process a 82 hour video. Like, good lord. That guy does YouTube for a living. <laughs> enough wait on that cycle but that's okay some awkward movement there but not a problem my game is lagging hella bad weird
That's pretty fucking solid. Also, damn you for the curse run flying waffle. It's my first uh, first one. It doesn't matter though. I got a headstone peak gold. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm gonna be ahead out of world one. Damn. That's crazy. My world one is really good in BB. That's a good sign. 401 world one? Oh dude, that's sick. I'm uh, I'm very, very happy with that for a first run of the day. I hit the wall, damn. Should be on a good cycled base here. I can generally use that last uh, platform to tell the damage boost through that, but not a problem. Ah, no. I think I uh, lost too much time on the first four flamethrowers collectively. Interesting. That was a bad move at the end, but that's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's fine. Not a biggie. I hope I don't need that. <laughs> I would, uh, be pretty bad. Whew, okay. Just barely made it. Pretty bad segment there, but that's okay. Good movement there. Pretty good. Alright, Giant's Kitchen time. Probably gonna lose time here. I'm okay with that, though. get this just in case. Good thing I did. Hello? That was weird. Hey. Hey Andrew. How's it going? 
130. Unlucky, but uh, Giant's Kitchen is, is hard, so I'm okay with that. Remember to do that one uh, up, because I will forget if I do not remind myself. Ugh, this cycle's gonna be rough, I think. Yeah, I just had to go over Sudge. I don't want to damage boost too much. If my health gets too low, I'm scared of the entire rest of the level. Alright, cool. But that's fine. Cool. Keeping it going. We're gonna lose a tiny bit of time here, I think. Yeah, tiny bit of time. But that's okay. That was a good jump there. <laughs> if you uh, jump into that cutscene, you can get a tiny bit extra distance, which is uh, convenient. Saves a little bit of travel time. Whew. All right, into world three, and we're ahead. Pretty good. This is what I need. Oh, I got the soft lock. It's fucked up. I thought I was slow enough. Weird. Okay, that's a fucking troll. <laughs> I think I will end up no resetting this. Just for the practice. I know I just spent like an hour practicing, but you know. Good so far. I need to figure out what stick angle I need to hold for that because I know uh, Rag can get a fucking nasty angle on that to get right into the cannon. Oh, right. I need to do the pop here. Forgot. Oh. Any time loss. I think it should overall save time, though. Yeah, that saves time. For sure. Not a gold because of some of the movement being kind of bad, but pretty close. Cool, back ahead. I had a pretty decent margin. Banger music. <laughs> That doesn't cause problems towards the end of the level. Oh, my nose itches. Ah. <laughs> why, why here? Oh, I could have done it during the uh, 
this lead part. Oh well. Hi Nogden. Thank you for the good luck. We're uh, we're on a pacer, so we'll uh, we'll see how that goes. But I appreciate it. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Yeah. Actual banger this time around. I'm gonna do the safe strat here so I don't immediately go down to one health. Because if I die here, I will be sad. Okay. Solid. 154 IGT. Should be about even. And I'm gonna blame it mostly on the whole nose itch thing. <laughs> You're good? Good to hear. Glad to hear it. Ooh, okay. I'm a bit focus mode right now for somewhat obvious reasons, but it is, it is good. Thank you everyone for hanging out. Appreciate it. This game is hard to play and chat at the same time, but I try my best. <laughs> Aw, oh, what? That didn't work? Fucked up. Okay. That's, uh, that's fine. Best possible time, 26.30 into another decent time save level. I think I go for the whole giant thing, uh, the, the giant skip or whatever. Jesus fucking Christ. That was, uh, some bad movement. What? That's, uh, interesting. That's fine. I'm not saving as much time as I probably could have, but I'm saving time. Am I saving time? No, I'm, uh, I'm dead even. That's fine. Not a biggie. The problem is that a lot of my end game is really tight. I think I gold like multiple stages. So this is really my last chance to save time. But that's okay. This is This is only the first run, by the way. <laughs> so I am playing pretty hot. <laughs> Getting a, like, pretty solid pace out of, uh, out of my first attempt of the day. Very motivating. Very, very nice. 
Alright, let's get this shit. Man's gonna go down. Easy. That's fine. That was so clean. <laughs> I think I gold that. By three seconds. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Alright. I smell marsh. Oh, if I if I press the jump button like a fraction of a second earlier, I would have done the like ultra fast strat. Oh no! No, dude, that loses so much time. Oh. Well, uh, we'll see if it's still possible with that. Dude. That's like all of my lead gone, and I have one health. Aw, oh, that sucks. Damn. It's, uh, that's rough. I think, unironically, I'm gonna have to like, pop over a lot of this because of my health. Um three seconds, really? Add menuing too. Ah! Man, man. What? Fort. This is pretty shambolic. trying to skip that, thank you. Shambles. It's everywhere, shambles. Damn it! I'm dead even with BB now? Oh my god, I have to gold like everything from now on out. just go straight like under that bridge or that uh, other roof and then just to jump up from there I'm not actually sure I should probably be doing that you probably waste uh, like half a second to get the height first because the bottleneck is not height I have plenty of time to gain height <laughs> all right Well, that's okay. If I got this pace on my first attempt, then, you know. That is perfectly okay, I think.
We'll see how close to PB this is. I am gonna go for the riskier strats in uh, Deep Rot, though. Kinda have to if I wanna actually PB this by a few seconds at least. Damn, 18 whole seconds. This could have been a pretty fucking good run. But alas, Ice Melt March. And Wishfire Bog to some extent, too. I'll, uh, I'll practice those before we go into the next one. What? I didn't hit it? Ow. That's that. Alright. Let's, uh, let's practice World 4 for some. First run. And I get a banger pace into a pretty atrocious World 4. Like, it was literally just this one jump, which I don't know how I felt. <laughs> I, I did what I always try to do, which is jump right, like, while I'm um, at that dock. I need to remember to change here. Um, that first run was so good, too. Oh well. I, I was attached. <laughs> I was attached, and now I am mourning, but that's okay. Let's, uh, I'm gonna practice Witchfighter Bog, and then we'll probably do another Deep Rod as well, since that's where the run, like, really died. Like, it was still feasibly possible, it was just gonna be real small. Until Tilty Frog. I need to probably be a bit more careful with that, but that's okay. Not terminal deaths. Actually, I will do the one movement sequence that 
I was like just talking about. Like that feels faster. Because you're not like slowing down to get more height, you're just keeping forward. I don't know how I'm missing this. That one makes sense. That one also makes sense. Can I like bull hop coyote jump that that? I can, but it's like way tighter. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with the double jump. That feels a bit more consistent. Gives you so much more leeway too. Alright, cover your ears. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get into the next run, I think. I feel, feel okay. I feel solid. I'm like I was playing really well that whole time, and then I smell Marsh just throw me a curveball. I didn't even really have an amazing early game that last run. I just had a gold <laughs> headstone peak. Honestly, maybe it's for the best that run died. I don't know if I want to run against the gold headstone peak. <laughs> Actually, I've decided. I'm so happy that I don't struggle with this skip anymore. This was probably the worst pop in the entire game until I like actually downloaded it and figured it out. Like, oh boy. Now that I'm good at it though, we're, uh, we're cooking. Jesus Christ, this was a bad one. Dash two. 
That's <laughs> uh, that's rough. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Some peak. Please jump, Pepper. Please, please jump. Okay, saved. Except for missing the, like, one strat at the start. Okay. Not that that's the world's biggest deal, but, you know. Bonking the wall there. That's a weird movement. <laughs> Love. Oh well. Alright. Is that a 405? Okay. What? It's like a 4... 409 now? Because <laughs> I lost like 5-6 seconds here? That's very weird. I've never had that happen before. Okay, I way over-exaggerated that, but... That shouldn't have happened, so... You know? Let me... Let me cry about it. What? That's so strange. Oh my god. If I die here, I think... I think I just reset. Okay, I wasn't even trying. <laughs> Good lord. Right. Walk the fuck in. that in a bit. I guess I did that <laughs> during practice, but look, that doesn't count. I haven't done that in a run in a little bit there. Alright, though. I haven't gotten a 116 in a bit. I'm, I'm starting to think that my the strats I'm doing right now are slower. In that level, specifically. Uh, pretty bad start. Okay. Because I haven't gotten a 116 in, like, at least maybe... F at 
least maybe 50 runs. I might go back to the two pops that you do in that stage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna test it. Test it the once. What? Was a bit slow. Ooh, Matt. Ooh, bad movement. That ending was real rough. If I'm losing like three seconds here or something. Yep. Thereabouts. Okay. I'm not gonna have a beginning like that. <laughs> Thank you. making dumb movement mistakes now. I don't know what happened. I was playing very well earlier and then one run dies and I can't play all that well anymore. Like, what is any of that? I'm not gonna have that either. Thank <laughs> you. 
Like, what? What is happening? All sorts of movement mistakes everywhere, man. I was playing so good, and now I can't, like, do anything. Like, what the fuck? Okay. I do not understand. Losing that run, like, completely broke my focus, man. I'm getting very frustrated right now. Like, I don't know why I can't fucking... Oh, I'm gonna... Oh, I'm fucking losing it, dude. I'm like, what? Oh, What the fuck is happening? I don't get it. I played good for, like, an hour and a half, and then I just fucking... throw it all on the shitter after I lose one run. Like, <sighs> uh. I do not know. I'm dismay. I'm losing my mind. How are you? Hope you're doing well. I, uh, I do not know what happened. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back in and practice some, um, cause I, like, I lose one run and it just, like, goes to complete shit and I cannot play at all right now. I don't understand. I have the one good attempt where I get... 18 seconds ahead out of world 3. And then the one minor movement mistake that loses like 20 seconds in, in the fucking first stage and then just it, it like snowballs into me not getting able, not getting out of the first stage for like 10 fucking minutes. It's probably closer to like 5 but no, it actually is probably closer to 10. I forgot that movement is going under. I need to fucking break out of that habit. I mean, generally you want to just use the top parts of the grapple because that sends you further at higher speed typically but
Adds in a minute. Uh, two minutes, by the way. So, just as a heads up. Covering from a rather exciting fall. Oh. Oh boy. Well, I hope it's exciting in the actually good way, not the bad way. And I hope you can uh, recover well. <laughs> if it is in the bad way. <laughs> I'm gonna assume it's in the bad way, but, you know. Human lang language is so wacky. Slipped in some snow on a mountain yesterday and tumbled like 400 feet of elevation. Jesus Christ. No broken bones? Well. Wow. Oh man, that's, that's like, that's all you can ask for. Good lord. That sounds very unpleasant. I'm sorry to hear that. Hope you are recovering well. I hope that you do recover well, considering it was yesterday. I doubt you are... I doubt you are feeling amazing today. But. I'm just gonna go all the way into that corner before I... do it. That, that feels so much more convenient, more safe. I cannot play at all. Like, why? <laughs> How come? <laughs> what is that? I want to figure this out, because there is a way, I know, to, like, launch head first into the second cannon there. Hmm. Oh, okay, you just hold straight down, I see. Some of the con practice went well. All right, I need to hold it the whole time. I need to not like let go of it. Cause that probably would have hit, but I uh, I did not have the trigger held down. This is close. I'm gonna go lie down, but I'll give you revenue for ads first. I appreciate it. You take care. That, that sounds fucking... 
That sounds rough. I, uh, I do not envy you, and I hope you can recover well. Good luck. Take care of yourself. I appreciate the uh, ad revenue, the two cents. Bip hooray. Stay spawned in. That's really funny. I didn't know that. Let's try again. I'm feeling hopeful. And by that I mean please, 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 please. Pretty please. I definitely think the pop strat at the start there is faster. I don't know about here, but... Stoops. Not oh, great. I just had a bad angle on the exit, I think. Same case there, I think. Ah, uh, well. I'll take a bad start if I can get a good 1 3, I think. At this point, I do kind of just want to play the game right now. What? Uh, 
You know what? I, uh... I think... Honestly, I'm gonna call it a day there. We got the one good run. I'm not too upset about it, I think. But, I don't know, I feel, I feel so out of it after that. Like, I get the one good run and then just nothing goes anywhere and, uh... I feel very frustrated at that right now, but... That's okay. That happens. So I think we're gonna go... Find someone to... If someone is alive, we can find someone to raid. Hmm... I don't super see anyone. Yeah. I don't really see anyone live. So I think I think we'll just call it there. Um, I appreciate y'all hanging out. It sure was a uh, day. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, honestly, for you know, taking a bit of a break. Coming back and then instantly getting a minus 18 run. I think we we can PB soon. Uh, I'll be I'll be running this probably every Thursday. Um, I want to run RKGK more, but I might have to wait until after SGQ to do that. We'll see. But nonetheless. Thank you all for hanging out. I appreciate y'all. Um, this is the like one time I'll plug this, but I have a tip link. Is that a broken link? It is. That's interesting. Um, I have to. I'll have to edit that command. Uh, but I have a donation link uh, going on right now. You can you can see it down in the bottom left there. Um. To try to get some extra cash for SGDQ. If you are by no means have to, watching the stream, you know, sitting through ads, subscribing, whatever you do, is like easily helpful enough. But if you if you have the means to, I would really appreciate it, especially if you want to see, you know, Pepper Grinder at GDQ. Um, that makes it all the more likely. Uh, I would really appreciate it. Of course, by no means are you uh do you need to you are you are free to just hang out and chat but um you know if you if you are generous enough then i would really appreciate it uh i don't really ask for <laughs> donations much because i don't you know i don't want to like try to take your money or whatever what have you um you know twitch does that by making you watch ads every hour enough you know <laughs> so um you know I don't really ask, but this is the one time I'll, I'll say it since today we, you know, got got 